Hello everyone. So in today's tutorial, we, we are going to look at the non-UI part of it, which is this part of it. Oops. Um, just let me color that out. Right. So for the non-UI part of it, you need to execute certain commands. Now, how do we do that? You have to navigate to the uh, path common db bin and get the command from and uh, you need to use this db dot bat followed by certain commands what are the commands you what are the commands that you can expect to add it over here is that the same as non ui part for example in the non ui in the ui part of it i'm sorry the ui part of it in the ui part what have we selected we have selected the product and we have selected the url we have provided the username password administrator username and password and the jdbc string or and the products in a similar way and you have selected the create drop migrate recreate all the options so the commands that should follow for db configurator also would be the same you will be the action type the action type can be either create or uh, delete or recreate then you need to give the products which product that you want products or components i think guys have not explained the components part of it so let me do that here so if you can see here there are two options you have the products and you have the components now there are multiple components if you can see here, multiple components so how can i how can i add this in a better way say you have um is as one of the product is as you can see this falls under product category see here it's it's a integration server right integration server right so what do we understand it's a product now for when you select as execute or create the tables the components that are associated for integration server gets installed for example the uh, is core audit is internal as you can see and if i believe if i'm right i think even the i'm think even central configuration as well gets added up which means when you select this product when you select this product the corresponding components gets added components gets created gets created that's what it means so now as a user you have the flexibility to either create by selecting individual components or you can select the product itself it's up to you so uh, i would not recommend what's the best option uh, i would just leave it to the user's choice now here that is what it means that is what it means either you select products or components and then you need to provide the oracle oracle uh, database instructions oracle database instructions system username instructions oops, oops, oops. i'm sorry system username instructions and if required table space yeah that's it that's what we are going to provide and obviously you can't remember this commands you're not a computer so the better way to do is that read the documentation and simply read the documentation that's the best way go to google search for web methods search for web methods 10.7 installation guide open the first link and that should open the pdf for you and here type for minus d oracle and if you can just let me bring that up okay there you go if you can see here there are set of commands right set of commands and make sure that you select the right uh, product because if this is oracle oops this is oracle okay and this is sql server and this is db2 so make sure that you're in the right you're using the right command so just let me bring one of them I'm, again i'm not going to execute any of those commands i'm just telling you guys how do you look at it right so um just let me bring up the notepad copy paste this so what it means db configurator dot bat please create the for the database oracle and i think in this in this particular command we are creating the database user as you can see the database user 
we are not creating the tables we are creating the user that is what it means but we have already created the user guys right we already created the user in with our uh, uh, giggly sql commands so you don't need to do that but still that is what it means we are creating the user and you need to change everything here it's oracle it will be localhost localhost and 1522 service name is xe xe pdb1 minus au means admin user au st au stands for admin user uh, ap stands for admin password you need to provide with the right credentials system system and admin 123 uh, and web m user so just let me create it for you guys let me see what happens okay and admin 123 minus u stands for user web m user just how we created web is web mws in a similar way it's web m user then admin 123 minus t table space directory which is an optional i'm going to skip that out so just let me paste this and see what happens right all right there is some exception it's saying that cannot pass security total um, check your configurations so i think i have given the string wrong or something um, just let me check that out localhost 1522 service name xc pdb1 right so or also i'll give the table space and let's see what happens i'll just say new new db space right and let me see what happens uh, minus t right right so these are certain errors that we kind of see this all the time i mean like uh, if you have worked on oracle xe um, if you have worked on if you have installed oracle uh, xe with 11 version 11g you would have not seen this error but we have picked up 18c as you as you have seen in the in the previous tutorial for 18c there's a, there's a specific re method how you kind of create the users right you need to alter the session and do certain things right so again these are certain specific errors which are related to database the drivers so th th this is not a part of uh, understanding how to solve this issue but i'm just giving you a way how to figure that out right so uh, you can work out with that very well so that's how you create a user now in terms of uh, component um, just let me see if i can get all right so here you go in terms of component as you can see uh, you have let let me copy this command and uh, bring this up right over here and again db configurator.bat create for oracle database minus c stands for the component which means this and here they have selected process audit and process engine as you can see here you have process engine and process audit that's what it means and latest uh, to this particular url string <coughs> localhost localhost uh, i'll say 1522 and my service name is xepdb1 and i'll say let's see if we can create it for webis itself let's see what happens webis and the password is admin123 that is what it means we are just creating for particular user so let's see what happens I'll paste it great see it's already created uh, it's already there so that's how it works um, now um, <coughs> Yeah, this is how you understand a document and try to create using the non UI and UI part. And there's one option that I've not tried before, but I've not tried at this particular session, but I would request instead of providing minus C a specific component, you can just say all that will install everything, everything. I'm, I'm literally everything. So uh, you can try that option very well. So um, I just leave it to you guys to figure that out and uh, in terms of the product 
product um, just let me see if I can find what is the right name to provide for the particular product um, just let me see if I can bring that up here um, there should be right see here you have IS internal and IS core audit which is nothing but this is IS internal IS core audit so use exactly this particular name when you when I say that uh, here just mention as it is don't provide anything more than this even a little space matters a lot something like this right so make sure that you do this and you create it so that should work just fine so just let me see if this works as well I'm just again I'm just checking it up guys so yeah there you go so that, that that's what it means right so that's how you look at read a document try to figure out what's the best way to uh, create the tables so I've shown both the version UI non UI version of it I hope that this is a good session that you got out of it so the next important session is that we are going to bring the IS and MWS up so uh, that's very important guys so see you soon thank you